Hello, it is Mary Dunnick, your very favorite Mary Kay Sales Director, and I'm doing a redo of the Sea Swept Eye Demo number one. The original version, which I live streamed on Tuesday, was terrible quality, and I think it was partly the time of day, the connection, and how many times, how many places I was trying to stream it. So here's my re-recording. Hope you like it. So today I'm still in Oahu. Um, we are in what well, I keep saying it wrong. So I'm not going to try and say it again. It's in Western Oahu. We had a great day today. Um, after kind of a rough start, our kids were just on one. They've been up early every morning. When we finally got in the car to go on our day trip drive, they both fell asleep on the way to where we were going. So we decided the key is that the kids get put in the car about the time they start acting up and we just drive around somewhere and then they'll have a nap. So uh, we ate good food. We went and saw a different part of the island. We were looking for some things and it's a good thing that this isn't smell-o-vision because I sweated today really good. Right now we're doing laundry and we're waiting for Memorial Weekend fireworks to start, which we'll be able to see really well from the 15th floor, um, which is where our condo is in the Makaha Towers in the Makaha Valley. So that's enough about me. Let's get on to the makeup. So I've got a bunch of different colors in here, a couple of different colors. I'm going to share my screen so that you can see where this look is coming from. This is coming from page 14 and 15 in the new look catalog. And if you don't have a copy of that, if you didn't get a paper copy because you're not on my mailing list, here you go. You can get an e-copy from my website. Make sure that you sign up to um, the register so that you can get all the notifications about my sales. I have a sale going on right now during Memorial Day for my registered customers. And you'll also be added to the next mailing cycle, which is going to be, I'm going to be enrolling people for that in July to receive in August. So I'm going to be doing the top look, which is the Sea Swept number one. I'm going to be doing number two on Tuesday, and hopefully that will go just a little bit better. I've got a mirror behind me, so I'm trying to make sure I can see my mirror around my ring light. So I'm going to start with I'm going to start with my navy color, which I chose. It says Starry Night in the book, which is a shiny navy. I went ahead and chose a matte navy just because I like matte. Now, I'm not putting primer on because it's about 8 o'clock at night, and I'm going to be taking my makeup off pretty, pretty soon after I do this. But um, I did want to give a shout out for my foundation. I've been wearing this since about 10 o'clock this morning and I have only touched up. I touched up my nose a little bit and underneath my eyes. But other than that, I am unretouched for my makeup. So let's start with this brush. This brush is the cream eye brush. But I love these brushes because you can use it for so many different things. I'm going to stop my share just so that you can see me a little bit better. And I'm going to start by building in the navy. And the navy is right. I'm going to go higher than my natural crease. I'm going to be defining this area. Oh, you can start to hear the fireworks. It is a good thing that the dog has had his medication. And if you listen really hard, you can hear the peacocks crying in the background. They're fairly muted right now, but let me tell you, those suckers scared me to death the other day. I was out in the parking lot parking the car. It's dark, you know, it's like after eight o'clock and it gets dark really early here. And those cries came from right above my head. <laughs> it made me nearly pee my pants. It was it's funnier now, but it was terrifying at the time. We've seen lots of peacocks doing their mating rituals, presenting their colors to us. Richard scared one um, right outside of, he was within a foot of one. He didn't even realize it was there. So I did, so what I did, I did my navy and then I did my crystalline. And we're going to go back. Let's look really quickly. We're going to do the whole page. 
really quickly so we can see this catalog thing this catalog spread because I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you something that I really wanted to tell you. So my navy is a little bit darker right now than she's got it. I'm going to, doing it a little bit dramatic. Um, and then I'm going to add emerald noir in to help create the look that we're going for. So let's change perspectives here so you can see both of us. So you can see how right now I've got a lot of, a lot of navy a lot of and a lot of crystalline and I'm going to add the emerald noir right in here and then I'm going to blend them all together with my blending implement now it doesn't really matter you can use any type of brushes or any of the Mary Kay brushes for that I've got kind of a skeleton crew I did want to make sure I was not bringing I felt meant to bring a few more than this but I didn't quite I didn't want to bring all my brushes so I've got the cream color one the brand new blending brush and then this guy is um, the previous version of the blending brush that I just happen to love you can still get those they're just not listed on my website because they're not something that you can currently available and have drop shipped to you from the company and that's usually how it goes so what I like, the palette that I'm working out of is also a favorite. It is our new Perfect pal or Petite palette, and it fits four eye colors. So this is perfect for your purse. It's perfect for a trip. You can do um, this one, and then the Perfect palette, which has room for blushes and eyeshadows in it, uh, blushes and your bronzer or powder in it. And that can just really be everything you need, even for a long trip, if you're only going to do a couple eye looks. If I was not going to be doing so many demos, I probably would not have brought more than four eyeshadows and a couple of cream shadows. But we're working. We're making it happen. Now, this got a little bit away from me. This got a little too dark. And I think this is a really good time to talk about that because sometimes when you're newly working with dark colors, it gets away from you. This happens. Then you start crying or you start panicking and then you wipe it all off and you tell yourself that you can't wear dramatic makeup. Well, that's not completely accurate. It's just that you need to blend the junk out of your shadows in order to get them to, to be what you want. When in doubt, blend it out. And that's why I love this new blender brush so much because it doesn't just spread it around because that's what people think blending is but you know my mom was an artist and I watched her spend hours drawing redrawing erasing blending getting everything just perfect because it takes a lot of finesse you can't do it right the first time yep we've got fireworks we've got peacocks and then my kids are getting excited in the background so now we have a little bit more of what I was going for this turned out way darker than it did the other day um, be partly because I already had some cream shadow on from earlier today and I think partly just because I was a little heavier handed with it but this is kind of a fun look too I'm going to take a picture of this and we'll have a which mirror is wearing it better competition now the trick for really dramatic is that you need to make sure you're balancing with enough mascara and with enough eyeliner. You cannot really go without eyeliner when you are doing a dramatic look. And you can't go without eyebrows either because it's just not going to work. It's like if you took a really, really beautiful painting and you just bought a cheap poster frame for it. It's just not going to look all that great. But you can take a really inexpensive piece of art, and I would even say do it underneath on your waterline. I'm not usually a waterline kind of gal because I have so many allergies. But for this, we definitely want it. But if, um, you can take an inexpensive piece of art, and you can put it in a great frame, and all of a sudden it looks like a million bucks all right so the other brush that i forgot i brought is this angle brush i usually use it for eyeliner but i'm going to use it a little bit 
I'm going to do a little bit of the white right in the corner. I have been watching a new, it's a colleague of mine, somebody I haven't met. She has great makeup tutorials. Um, she speaks Spanish. So that's why I haven't posted very many of her things, but I've been copycatting her a lot because I'm learning a ton from her. So we good on our eyeliner. You can see how that helps to soften the look up a lot. I'm going to do one more coat of blending and I'm going to add a little bit more emerald to just make it all good. The fireworks must have started. Everybody must have gone outside because the dog is kind of pacing around. He's like, where is my mom? I can hear her, but I cannot get to her. He hasn't started to like put his shoulder on the door or anything yet. So he must be okay. So we've got that. And then let me add my Lash Intensity Mascara. I've been wearing mostly waterproof, just waterproof with the lash primer the last few days because that's what's practical. I have blonde eyelashes, so I don't really go without mascara. And my hair grows super fast, so dyeing them is kind of a non-starter for me. And just, I, I just, I mean, in the habit of mascara. It's just my thing. It's my generation, man. So this is my completed look. My sea swept too. Is that better or worse? Different? Ew. There we go. So my sea swept two look, the more dramatic version, nighttime at night. And I'll post some pictures side by side with daytime and nighttime for your viewing pleasure. Um, that's everything. All of the products are listed in the catalog and I would love to hear from you. Um, obviously later because I'm doing this at eight o'clock Hawaiian time. So that's like one o'clock in the morning for a lot of you. So I know I'll hear from you guys later. Um, let me know what you think, which look you prefer, and we'll see you soon.